Yeah, uh, I, <clears throat> he did actually uh, do what he said he wanted to do. I thought they, um, I mean, uh, people are always working, and sometimes the work doesn't get, you know, transition from the work routine to the to the field. But in this instance, I think it did. I think they cleaned up some things that they were trying to uh, accomplish. <clears throat> I think he stayed uh, within the parameters that he was seeking to find in terms of how he was going to do what he was going to do. And, you know, it's a pretty good team over there. And he was able to obviously uh, keep them in check for, for, for most of the game. These seven outings with his talent, you always knew he was capable of, uh, you know, despite the fits and starts sometimes. Hmm. The outing that he had today, based on the skill set that he has, is what we're hoping that he will continue to become. Um, <clears throat> obviously, this is a step in the right direction. I know everybody talked about how you know this is basically his beginning, as opposed to his latter half of the season. And um, maybe he's taking a jump forward in this outing today, <clears throat> um, and maybe he's a little closer to pitching the way he had pitched, um, relatively speaking into the second half of last season. <clears throat> so hopefully in a timetable sequence, maybe it's coming a little bit quicker this time. And uh, he can continue to carry it on moving forward. Obviously, you know, everybody knows what he can do with the baseball. Um, very strong man with a great life on his pitches. Uh, and if he throws strikes and he's able to command the zone, he can be extremely effective. <clears throat> Davids are coming up in that situation. I mean, how, I know it's what you guys are going through, but what does that kind of do for when you guys? I mean, it's a good question. I, it's, it doesn't matter what time of the year it is or what what your club is going through, whether you're winning or you're having a tough time. I think just in general, the idea that uh, these men uh, go out there and continue to battle and fight, and then you end up putting it away in the final at bat, it's a big pick me up. Absolutely, we've had a tough. We've had a tough go of it lately, but that's a that's a huge pick me up in terms of being able to complete and finish out a ball game. You know, we were down, you know, most of the game. Leroy hits the homer, ties it. You know, we have a couple opportunities. I know uh, we left them uh, stranding a couple guys out there, and they had opportunities to to close it out. Um, but to uh, finish out the game like that uh, with uh, everybody kind of doing their own little thing, and 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 these young guys that are learning what it's like to truly compete at the major league level, and then you do it against a really good club uh, to finish it off. Um, it's, it's a big pick-me-up. It's huge. What did uh, Malky mean for, for this group? <clears throat> well, Malky, you know, was uh, one of the guys that's obviously been as consistent as you can poss possibly have any major league baseball player on, on a particular club. I got to see him last year and this year. <clears throat> and... Um, not only did he bring a, a particular type of energy into the clubhouse and a, a personality that, that created some cohesiveness within the, the ranks of the players, he also gave, went, went out and gave you what he could. You know, he'd get in the box, and you always felt really good when he was in the box. You always felt good. If he, if he put his, bat, his, his hand on his glove on the ball when it was in the outfield, you know he was, he was going to make a catch, or if he was going to have to make a throw, there was a chance he was going to throw somebody out. <clears throat> Um, and in, in the sense of having runners on base, you always felt like if he was at the plate, you had a chance to drive in a run. So just in general, all in all, his, his uh, professionalism and the way he went about his business, um, we all appreciate it, and you know, we'll miss it. <clears throat> Is it nice to have uh, Lurie back at the top of the line? I mean, it's nice to have Lurie back. Uh, just in general, I think uh, you know he's been gone a while trying to recover from that hand thing, and you know hopefully he's... We'll see how he's doing tomorrow. Hopefully he's still fine and, and we're continuing to move forward. Obviously, we anticipate that he's he's good to go. Um, but being able to also have, uh, you know, have him out there and left with, uh, you know, with Malky leaving, but having him out there and left with Engel in center kind of open, you know, we got a lot of coverage right now. So <clears throat> that'll help us a little bit. Uh, you know, and obviously Willie right now taking over for Abby and Wright. So uh, all those guys uh, that we put out there, they, they, they give us some coverage and, um, and that's, uh, obviously nice to have him back.